when I say I love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean, I love you more than the toughest of times we will ever go through, more than any argument we will ever have. And I love you more than any distance between us and any obstacle that we will ever face. I love you the most. I want to so badly be able to explain all the things that I love and all the love that I have for you. Through the progression of the type of love that gives the butterflies in the stomach to the type of love we built together. It's more of the blurring of the self and the entanglement with another soul. There is so much love in my soul for everything that you are. I take you as you are now, tomorrow, and eternity to come to be my husband. I knew from the start how incredible you, you are, but I don't think you realize just how much you saved my life. Meeting you is and always will be the greatest blessing I will ever experience. And as you know, I am a perfectionist, but the good news is that I want to spend the rest of my life perfecting what it means to love, cherish, and support you. I vow to always support you in any and everything you choose to do in life. I vow to treat you like the beautiful person you are, inside and out. I vow to tell you I love you every single day so you never question how much you truly mean to me. My I vow to honor you, to respect you, to laugh with you, to support you, and always encourage you. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever life throws at us. I promise to fight for you, for us, and love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I could spend an hour telling you all the things I love about you and all the things I vow to do, but my ultimate vow is this. I vow to love you more than any human could ever love another human. You are my rock, my joy, my laughter, I love my everything. You're the sun on my rainy days, the wind behind my sails, and the reason I get out of bed every morning to create the life we deserve. You're my best friend, and I'm the luckiest woman on earth to have you as my husband. Today may seem like the start of a new journey, but I already belong to you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life loving you. It's truly my greatest joy in life. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was like walking into a house and knowing you were home. Now the story of how these two met and fell in love is actually a pretty special one. See, shortly after moving back from Arizona, Tanner made plans to get together with his best friend, Zach. Now the big news of the night though, was that he had just gotten an amazing new roommate. You see, while she was really cool and a ton of fun and definitely not crazy, they had to just be friends. Easy peasy, Tanner thought to himself. Jess was that cool roommate. The next day, as the story goes, she sent Tanner a little message on Facebook asking if he'd like to go out for a stroll. He came out so fast. Apparently it wasn't as easy peasy to not fall for Jess as Tanner thought. A short time later, he invited Jess to his family's annual beach trip on the Outer Banks. The elaborate ruse to do a mock photo shoot was underway. The plan was for Tanner to pop the question on the final shot of the day at the last location, a charming little beach house with a romantic dock right near the water. But when they all told her to turn around and face Tanner, she knew exactly what was happening. It was that moment when Jess blurted out exactly what you hope you never hear when you're on one knee, oh my God, no, 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 no. Are you serious? Crying, Jess corrected herself with an emphatic yes.
I asked Jess, so what do you love most about Tanner? And this is what she had to say. What don't I love about him? She says Tanner is loyal and kind, adventurous, ambitious, honest, funny, open-minded, consistent, and humble. And for that, she says that she is the luckiest girl in the world. Well, not to be outdone, I asked Tanner the same question. What do you love most about Jess? And this is what he had to say. I loved every moment I got to hang with Jess and still do. She is my best friend. As I got to know her more, I loved her independence. She was never dependent on me or any man for that matter to live life how she wanted to live it. And I love that about her. I also love how supportive she is of me, my dreams, my aspirations, and what I want to accomplish in life. She's always in my corner and I'm always in hers. I would say what I love most about Jess is how big her heart is. She truly is one of the most loving and caring people I know. It's what I love about her so much. It's why all my friends love her and why my family loves her so much as well. She truly is the perfect addition to the Sheldon family. Remember, as you leave here today and begin the rest of your lives, your calling to your marriage is more important than your calling to your jobs, your friends, and even your points of view. Remember, your calling to your marriage deserves to be protected, valued, and cherished with everything that you have. Remember, your calling to your marriage will have many beautiful adventures and a lot of difficult challenges. It's your commitment to your calling and to one another that makes the adventures incredible and the difficulties worthwhile. Great marriages aren't the ones that are never hard. Great marriages are the ones where both partners live out their calling to their spouse through humility, gentleness, patience, perseverance, and peace. Strive for a great marriage, not an average one. Well, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you as husband and wife. Tanner, you may kiss your bride. Whether or not you believe in love at first sight is totally up to you, but Tanner clearly saw something in this cute girl who had just moved to Virginia from Michigan because within days of meeting her, he invited her to join him on the Sheldon Family Beach Week. I still remember my first impression of Jess, um, which was, wow, she is really cute. Why is she hanging out with Tanner? But uh, boom, roasted. If you guys don't know, Jess loves scary movies. She loves haunted houses. Anything spooky, that's Jess's thing. So it makes total sense she married a ghost. Boom <laughs> <laughs> roasted. Boom roasted. It has been an absolute joy to watch you guys start dating, build a relationship, build your family, and build a marriage. After being witness to your love for each other and the vows that you shared earlier today, I promise to be here for you both, to remember the words and vows that you've made and encourage your marriage, your friendship, and your love together moving forward. I'm so blessed to be standing hand in hand with Tanner and be right in the middle of their, of their marriage. <laughs> I really feel like I got married today as well. To Tanner and Jess, Thank you.